Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie and I post beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch then please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are reviewing the Revolution in collaboration with Games of Throne collection. I bought two palettes, two of the matte lip balms and yeah we're just going to review those. I've never watched, ever watched Games of Thrones and I might do in the future but that will not affect my opinion on the products because I have found two like these four products out of the whole range are literally my favorite things ever so I will show you one of the palettes this is the Game of Thrones Mother of Dragon palette this is one of my favorites it's the second favorite because my first favorite you're going to see in a minute and this is what it looks like. It's a very warm toned palette and I love that there's a black in there. But that's not the palette we're gonna use today. The palette we're gonna use today is a palette that turned up broken, unfortunately. However, Revolution's customer service team is on point. They sorted out my palette. Well, they gave me a refund like ASAP. So the palette that I was very, very excited for is this palette here called Free Eyed Raven because just look at that. These two shimmers came smashed so I have had to clean them and squash them back in. But I feel like it's worked out well. And to be honest, I've bought these mainly for the reviews. So I'm actually kind of glad I got a refund because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to get a re uh, replacement because they're probably just going to go in my drawers after as a collector's item. Then I bought two of the lip balms. I bought Sansa Scar Stark and then I bought Arya Stark. Arya? 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 I don't know. <laughs> those are them too and I will show you those when we are done with the eye portion of the video. Firstly, let's get into swatches. All right, so we have the first two rows here. I love them, they've all swatched really nicely. You've got two formulas of the shimmers. You've got like normal shimmer foil formulas and then you have like the foily kind. These are absolutely stunning. And then here are the last row and look what we have. We have a black. I've actually already filmed my ghosting review today so and I've used a black. I might go and use the black again, who knows? But yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous colours. Like, this is stunning. Next time I need to make sure I go down this side. I don't know, because I do it, like, here, it looks straight, but when you turn your arm, it's not. So, yeah. Love, love, love. Let's put some eye base on and get into the tutorial. All right, let's get into it. Let's start off with this shade here called Live. Just like all of Revolution's formula, it is very, very dusty, but as long as they're pigmented, like I always say, I do not mind. And just look how well that blended out. Next, we're gonna go in with this shade here called Cave. You know what, instead of using the black which is called Raven here, I'm going to go above it and take this shade called Forest. And on the lid, the shade snapped when it came to me, but I'm going to have to use it. This shade here called Wildfire, it is like a greeny bronzy shade and... I've wanted to use it this whole time. That is gorgeous. That is really, really stunning, that shade. I am so glad I chose to use this shade. And then we're going to take what's left of the shade Forest and just blend it in so there's no harsh lines. This is such a nice look. So I'm just going to go off camera, perfect it, and then we will be back for the lips. Most of my makeup is on. The only thing that isn't on is the lips because we have these two Game of Thrones lip balms. So the lighter shade is called Aya Stark. Aya? Aya? <laughs> People are going to laugh at me, aren't they? 
that is such a beautiful beautiful shade and then the next shade we have is Sansa, Sansa Stark try saying that four times over with a lisp I feel like they'd be perfect to like ombre so I'm gonna attempt that so I'm thinking that I might start with the light shade in the middle and then go with the darker shade on the outer corner let's try that that is a beautiful shade. How gorgeous is that? That is bloody lovely. That was quite an easy ombre to be fair. That actually concludes this tutorial. And these dry down really nice. I have tried the Ghost in Range and the liquid lipstick is not as nice as these. This is really nice and comfortable. I love that. <laughs> I can't stop staring at it. So yeah, let's talk about the palette. The palette does retail for £12 and I love the packaging. I have no idea about Game of Thrones, but what I do know is this really did catch my eye out of all of the palettes. There's actually three. There's a blue palette as well, which I wasn't going to buy. I have enough blue palettes that I never reach for. So I definitely had to invest in this one because this one I feel like is a very nice everyday kind kind of palette. You got names in there like Werewood Tree, Past, Wildfire, Creature, Dragon Glass, Children Serve, Walk, Raven. I don't know what any of those words mean. I don't know if I said them right, but if you're an OG fan, you probably know everything about it. So yeah, the palette worked beautifully. Like I love the look. The look is so soft but so nice. And the lip bombs I love them. I love this shade. I love that they both match. Like they are really nice colours and you can wear them on their own or you can wear them sing like an ombre like I just did but there was four shades and I picked up only two. They had oh I want to say like a dark green or something. I'm not even sure but there was four shades and then there was a lighter pinky and nude type shade and I thought I'm not going to go for that so I went for the two colours that I know I'd use. I've got enough pinky nude shades to last me a lifetime whereas these two shades perfect. So so yeah, that concludes this tutorial. I really hope you did enjoy it. I know it's probably quite short, but I just wanted to grab a few bits because there was a couple of things that stood out to me. I waited and waited to watch a few reviews. Once I watched them, I was like, okay, this is what I want. And then this light R shade, the, I don't even know how to say her name pro properly, but A Stark, let's call her A Stark. That shade went out of stock straight away and then when it came back into stock I was like I'm not waiting I'm buying it so I bought it and can you see why it is lovely I really hope you guys did enjoy this video please smash a huge thumbs up subscribe down below and I'll catch you in my next one bye